Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike, and this is going to be my new comic book pickup from April 12, 2023. I know I'm late, um, but here I am with a fat stack of comics, and I'm, I left a couple in my box. I already picked out uh, today's books because today is new comic book day, and I was there to pick up these, so I picked up my variants that I wanted, shuffled them in my box, and I'm planning to pick them up tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe on this guy's channel. It does help. It's all free. It doesn't cost you anything. All you got to do, you know, is hit the like or the subscribe. Or if you like my stuff, hit the bell. You never know when I'm going to drop stuff. All right, so let's get into it. Um, some of these, they were just, you know, it was what they had. and it, Not necessarily like my first choice. Um, this one wasn't my first choice, but I do love this cover. Batman Incorporated number seven. Um... I don't know who does this cover. Miko Savan, Savannah. I don't know. I don't know, but it was still pretty dope. I love the black and white with the red in there. Um, I can't even remember what the one I wanted. It wasn't cover A, but I think it was like cover C or something. I don't care. I still got the comic. Um, we got DC Comics Lazarus Planet. Uh, this is um, Revenge of the Gods issue number three. This is like the I don't even, you know, I agree. I don't know why they're calling it Lazarus Planet at this point. I know it still has some tie-ins to it, but not really at this point. Uh, DC Comics, Superman Lost, issue number two. This was a like one of the, the covers that I did want. I love the way it looks right there. Um, the first issue was pretty good, so I'm all in on that book. Um, DC Comics, issue number two, Multiversity, Harley screws up the DCU. The first issue was really good. I'm looking forward to the second issue. Um, this one, I don't know if that was like my first choice or whatever, but I still dug it. It's a Connor, Amanda Connor, and uh, Jimmy Pamiotti, Pamiotti. Sorry, no disrespect. Um, this one, I have to look at the cover. I'm not sure. I know that this was a big one on my list. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to get it. Um, but a lot of these I did pick up last week. I always do that when I get my books late. Bear with me a second. I'm looking at who did the cover on this one. I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, this is a Peach Momoko. Um, this is from Ewoks, issue number one from Marvel. Um, and I was trying to look who did this, and I think that's what it was. It was Peach Momoko, and I love this the the cover. Um, it was really the pony that, that kind of got me in there. I couldn't remember if it was Peach or if it was somebody else because it's it's like the pony is kind of her R, but the other the Ewok and the out the I don't know it's just a little different. All right, so uh, this one was a big one. I couldn't pass this up, and I know Mark he loves this guy, but this was uh, Marvel Voices Spider Verse, uh, and I think the cover artist is John Jang. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it is a sick cover. I can't wait to show him up to my brother. He's a big Spider-Man fan as well. I think he's really going to dig it. And it's it's a hot book, you know. Um, I don't mind having a hot book, you know. It was in my box. I got a cover price. It was a pricey book at $9.99, so I'm hoping it's, it's good. Because um, I don't buy stuff for spec reasons. Uh, Marvel number one, we got Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, uh, I, I think it's the first issue in the group fall uh, event that's going to happen. But the reason I picked this up is I kind of I dug the whole Western um, look and the appeal on the Guardians of the Galaxy. I myself am not a super huge Guardians of the Galaxy. I do like the movies, but as far as like the comics and stuff, I, I knew about them before, and I wasn't a big fan back in the '90s. I have tried some. Guardians of the Galaxy, especially when Anti-Venom anti joined uh, Guardians, uh, I did read that, but it's it's here or there, but it's not like I dislike them. Um, we got DC Comics, we got Wildcats, issue number six, a fantastic series so far. I want to say the first issue is a little slow, but then after we got past that, it has been fantastic. Um, I can't give you any advice currently on like the last issues of most comics because I'm behind. Um, but just, you you know, one issue or whatever. Um, this one I was really excited for. I've been picking up everything Sandman, hint, hint. This is DC Comics under their black label, the Sandman Universe. And this is Nightmare Country, the Glass House. Um, I love the Corinthian. I didn't know anything about him before the show, and I really dug him um, and what he was trying to do. His whole, I, I don't know if that's still, like, 
you know, because that was based off the beginning of Sandman, so I don't know what that if that's what the Corinthian is still doing. But I thought it was pretty dope. He was trying to live. Uh, we got DC Comics and the Milestone 30th, you know, anniversary. Um, but the Milestone Initiative. We got Static Shock issue number three, um, and the cover is done by um, as Drapier Ivy. It's so dope. Static has been all, all the Milestone stuff has been fantastic. I, I'm a huge milestone and so far they have done no wrong by me uh, Marvel Comics got Fantastic Four issue number six I know a lot of people it's been hit or miss for me it's it's been okay it's been a solid read I wouldn't say it's like just in the okay column because it's it's gone back and forth I do apologize about my AC um, I didn't even know it was on okay so I had to check out who did I, I forget who does the cover but Boom Studios is a virgin variant of uh, Briar issue number four. I had to check uh, which comic. Well, I, I, I keep forgetting, and I've done this like three times at the shop. But man, you talk about a fantastic cover, and Briar has been really good so far. We got Miles Morales from uh, Spider-Man Marvel. We got issue number five. I've been digging this. He's going up against Rubble. I am, I think, maybe one issue behind, or maybe not. I'm not sure. I have to check. I, th I think I might be current on that one. I know I'm current on this one. This is a Marvel issue number three, Bloodline, Daughter of Blade. The last issue, she finally met her dad, and so we're kind of moving forward at this point. I know that there's a lot of people that have been half-half on this one. For me, it's been an okay read, getting to know, um, and I, I draw a blank at her name, but the Daughter of Blade, right? Um, so we got, and this is a big one, and I am caught up on this one, but this is Marvel Comics. We got Predator issue number two. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the whole Fox like imprint and everything. I know cover A I was not a fan of. I really like this one. Um, but I don't know how I feel about that because both of them had that, that Fox trade dress. I don't know. It didn't bother me. I, I love Fox. Um, we got Marvel Comics. We got X-23 Deadly Regenesis issue number two. Bunch of different cover options on this one. I thought this was the best in my and in, in, out of the options. And I want to say I had like five different options. I don't know why my shop had so many. Um, Marvel Comics. We got Sins of Sinister, Storm, and the Brotherhood of Mutants issue number three. I love this cover. They have been um, all these Sins of Sinister. You know, the whole event has had fantastic covers, and the story has been really good. Um, last but not least, we got Tim Seeley's Master of the Universe, Masterverse from Dark Horse Comics, issue number three. Um, this has been fantastic. I know a lot of people are kind of burnt out on the Netflix Kevin Smith. Uh, you know, he man, this is different. This is, um, you know, this is basically Stratos, and he's trying to figure out if he needs to kill He Man, if he's a threat to the whole multiverse or something like that. Um, so it's basically like. Stratos looking at these different versions of He-Man throughout, you know, the different multiverses or whatever. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty fantastic. Um, but that is all I have for you. I will have another video dropping tomorrow. If you saw anything that you really want me to review, I, I am a little behind on my reviews, but I will get there. But um, I need to catch up my reading. That's that's all my reading back there. Look right there. It's like, plus this, and it's a lot. Um, I need to just buckle down and read you know what I'm saying but um, I'm really only like one issue behind I just read so much <laughs> um, alright guys that's all I got for you I mean comment down below what was your favorite and um, I, I do have some more books that I left in the box like I said I left like three or four from this week but I will be picking up everything tomorrow because um, tomorrow it's not so, it's not so big compared to my other weeks but that's all I got for you guys alright bye love ya